in this video, we're gonna be talking about the unit circle. So, ano nga ba ang unit circle? Simply, ang unit circle is a circle with a radius of 1. So, alam naman natin na ang radius ay ang sukat niya simula origin papunta sa kahit anong point ng ating circle. So, let's uh, see this circle sa baba. So, from the origin going to any point, that is 1. Okay? So, here is our unit circle. So, what are the things that we can see in our unit circle? So, let's start with the degree measures. So, lahat nung may degree na symbol, ayan, starting from 0. So, in counterclockwise motion, so from 30, 45, 60, 90, 120, 135, 150, 180, 210, 225, 240, 270, 300, 315, 330, and this is 360, the one revolution. So these are the degree measures. Next, we also have the radian measures. So the degree measure has its equivalent radian measure. So we already discussed how to convert degree measures to radian measure. So ilalagay ko na lang yung link sa description box. So ang 30 degrees is equivalent to pi over 6. 45 degrees is equivalent to pi over 4. So, ito yung mga radian measures. So, let's start with 0, pi over 6, pi over 4, pi over 3, pi over 2, then 2 pi over 3, pi ikot siya hanggang 2 pi. Okay? Yung 2 pi, that is the 1 revolution. So, pi ikot siya. Nandito yung 2 pi natin sa may 0. Okay? We can also see the coordinates. So, bawat degree may corresponding siya na radian measure and also it has corresponding coordinates. So, x, y. x is also known as the abscissa or that is cosine theta. And y is also known as the ordinate that is the sine theta. So, our coordinates now is cosine theta, sine theta. Again, Cosine theta is equivalent to x and sine theta that is equivalent to y. So mamaya sa next slide, i-discuss natin paano nag-arrive doon sa coordinates na yun. So tingnan muna natin ano-ano ba yung mga coordinates na nasa unit circle natin. So ito yung mga coordinates yung nasa labas ng circle. Pero yung mga points niya nandun sa circle mismo. So 30 degrees that is equivalent to pi over 6. Ang coordinates niya ay ito, square root of 3 over 2, that is the x-axis, and 1 half, that is the y-axis, or y-coordinate. Okay, so paikot yan. So alamin natin paano tayo nag-arrive dun sa mga coordinates na yun. So how the coordinates became cosine theta and sine theta. So diba, x, y siya. So in our circle, let's say we have point here. So, this is x, y because we don't know the values of x and y. But all we know is the radius. So, from the origin going to that point, the measure is 1 because the radius is, the, the radius is 1 in the unit circle. So, we don't know the value of y and x. So, this is our angle or the theta. So, we have the so-called so katoa. I know that you are uh, already familiar with this. Yung so that stands for sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. Yung ka that is cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse. And toa stands for tangent equals opposite over adjacent. Okay? So let's find the value of x or the abscissa. So, how are we going to solve for that? Since our focus angle is here, so can we use the sine? Because sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So, we cannot use sine theta. How about ka? That is cosine equals adjacent. The adjacent of this angle is this x and hypotenuse. 
Okay, so we can use the ka part in the Sokatoa. So we will have cosine theta equals x. X is the adjacent side over 1. That is ka. Cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Therefore, cosine is equal to x. That's why we have cosine theta as our abscissa. We can also use the tangent. But here, tangent theta is equal to opposite, which is y over adjacent, over x. So, hindi natin makukuha yung value mismo ng x dahil meron pa tayong isa pang variable na y. So, the safest thing that we can use is the cosine part. Okay, let's proceed naman dun sa y coordinate. Which is, we're going to use the sine part. Because in sine part, that is equivalent to opposite, which is y over hypotenuse. So, sine theta is equal to y over 1. So, again, that is sine equals opposite, opposite yung y, opposite side nung angle natin, and over 1, that is the hypotenuse. So, sine theta is equal to y. So, our coordinates in our unit circle, that is cosine theta for x or abscissa, and sine theta for y coordinate or coordinate. Okay? Now, how are the coordinates obtained? Yung kaninang pinag-usapan natin, yung mga square root of 3 over 2, 1 half, yung mga nasa labas na nakasulat. So, how are the coordinates obtained? Okay, so in our unit circle, we have the 30, 60, 90 triangle. If you're going to notice that. So, here's the 30, 60, 90 triangle. So, yung, yung mga sides niya, that is 1, 2, and square root of 3. That is the special right triangle. And also, our unit circle has its 45, 45, 90 triangle. So, silang dalawa, itong dalawang triangles na ito, sila yung mga special right triangle. So, dito naman sa 45, 45 by 90, we have 1, 1, and square root of 2. Okay, so gagamitin natin itong dalawang uh, special right triangle in obtaining our coordinates in our unit circle. So, how? Let's start with the sine, cosine, and sine 30. So, again, using the Sokatoa. So, for cosine theta and sine theta, let's start with cosine 30. So, if cosine 30, we have, in cosine, we have adjacent, that is square root of 3, over hypotenuse, that is 2. That's why we have square root of 3 over 2 as our abscissa. For sine 30, we have 1 half. Because sine or the so part is opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite of 30 is 1. And the hypotenuse is 2. That's why we have 1 half. That is equivalent to sine 30. Okay? Next, how about for the cosine 45? So in cosine 45, we have here. So... If 45 degrees is our focus, our adjacent is 1. And our hypotenuse is square root of 2. Okay? Remember that we cannot have radical in our denominator. So we're going to multiply 1 over square root of 2 into square root of 2 over square root of 2. So 1 times square root of 2, that is square root of 2. Then, square root of 2 multiplied by itself, that is equivalent to 2. That is why cosine 45 is equivalent to square root of 2 over 2. Also, sine 45 is equal to 1 over square root of 2. So, same process as we did to cosine 45. Okay? So, yan. Yeah, no? Obtain na natin silang lahat. Doon naman tayo sa sine 60 or cosine 60 rather so for cosine 60 ito yung focus natin focus angle natin 
So, yung magiging adjacent natin is 1. Then, our hypotenuse is 2. That's why cosine 60 is equal to 1 half. Then, for sine 60, we have, so, ito yung sine 60 natin. Opposite is square root of 3 over hypotenuse. So, square root of 3 over 2. Okay? So, doon naman tayo sa second quadrant. Okay, what if the given angle is beyond 90 degrees? So, yung mga gagawin natin dito sa slide na to ay pwede din natin gamitin sa third quadrant at sa fourth quadrant. Okay? So, answer is to find the reference angle. So, we already discussed the reference angle in our previous video. Ilalagay ko na lang sa description box yung link. So, for example, the given is 120. So, as we can see, ito yung 120 natin. Diba? Ayan. So, nasa second quadrant siya. So, the thing that we can do first here is to find the reference angle. So, that is 180 degrees minus the angle in quadrant 2. So, our reference angle is 60 degrees. So, using the 30 by 60 by 90 right triangle, we can use the cosine 60. Cosine 60 is equivalent to negative 1 half. And sine 60 is equivalent, equivalent to square root of 3 over 2. So, bakit naging negative yung cosine part? Because kapag nasa quadrant 2 ang ating given or ang ating point, diba, negative uh, side of our x-axis and positive side of our y-axis. So, negative positive ang ating coordinates. Kapag naman nasa quadrant 3, ang ating coordinates ay negative negative. Kapag naman nasa quadrant 4, ang ating coordinates ay positive negative. So, ito yung coordinates ng ating cosine at sine 60 or ng 120 degrees. Okay? So, this ends uh, our video. I hope that you have learned something from here. And if you do, kindly like, share, and subscribe. God bless you.